Hey everyone, this is my 128 megabyte uh, SanDisk USB. It's, there's nothing special with it. But last time I made a magnet video, I did something like this. And I shit you not, I probably got about 100 plus comments um, regarding that, putting USB on some magnets because everyone thought I'll lose my data. So I decided to test this. What I did, I made a test text file, filled it with I am alive text, about 121 megabytes, there you go. Put it, put my USB in. Should do this in real time. I transferred over that file. So as you can see there's not much space left on that USB. The point is if if something corrupts, if a bit corrupts in any data, it will render it useless. So ejecting the USB and onto the magnet. Here's a strong neodymium magnet from um, my previous videos, you can go watch them if you like. This is a Cube N50, very strong, uh, not quite safe but you know, it's fun to play with. So here I just muck around with USB, uh, dunk it around. If some of you saw this, you'd probably uh, be extremely scared, but you know, it's just the USB, it's 128 megabytes, so it's like 500,000 years old. But as you can see, uh, it's in contact with that magnetic, magnetic field quite strongly. That's probably enough, so now we'll go see if any bits are corrupted in the computer. So I put the stick in, and I've got a way in mind about testing this. Uh, as you can see on the desktop, there's the original file, and we're just opening this file to see if it opens. I think it takes a while, but eventually the text file that from the USB we just put in open so you go so as you can see it doesn't corrupt the data well so the text file is still open so it's still a valid document but we'll check if any actual physical bits have flipped in that data and Windows has a cool function for doing this it's FC so that stands for file compare and that slash B compares the bits so we're going to compare the original file to the file on the USB and if there are any differences this will show it There you go, so no differences are, have been encountered, so you can tell that that magnet absolutely did nothing, didn't change even one single bit out of 122 megabytes. And just to prove it, I've gone onto a magnet manufacturer's website, gone down to the USB section and shown you that USB sticks and memory cards are not magnetic carries and will therefore not be damaged by magnetic fields. Thank you very much. Um, that will obviously be different for hard disk drives. Don't put magnets in that because that's got um, moving parts as well. So that will screw your stuff up. But I'll go on doing this. Thanks for watching.